नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सम्मा संबुद्ध डियर ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर मेडिटेशन प्रोग्राम इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ डिस्कशन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मेडिटेशन स्पेशली सपोर्टिव टेक्निक्स आई थिंक लास्ट वीक वी टॉक अबाउट बुद्धानुसृति एंड दिस वीक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मेथा मेडिटेशन स्पेशली दिस फोर मेडिटेशन बुद्धानुसृति मेडिटेशन metta meditation third row body part meditation and also recollection of death maranasati these four are called four protective meditation so you are practicing four protective meditation today we are going to learn about the second protective meditation what is the concept of metta metta mean loving kindness but maybe some of you can't understand that by just a word so lord buddha provide a wonderful example for that i think i have explained that before but i'll explain again he mentioned in karne mitra sutta imagine a mother with only one child and imagine the amount of love that mother have towards the son so towards the son so if you can radiate the same amount of love to each and every human being in this world that is a wonderful way to understand the concept of metta Actually the concept concept of metta is very important for a peaceful society. So it doesn't matter what religion that we are believing in, doesn't matter what practice that we are practicing in. We can show the compassion and loving kindness to each other. In these days we are talking about the world peace and how to balance the world by using the mental factors by the way that people think. So metta or the loving kindness is a wonderful way to approach in that way. If you can show your compassion and kindness to other people if you can wish for the happiness happiness of other people that is a wonderful opportunity wonderful way to practice the metta as a quality and also as a meditation there are two different path let me explain you about the meditation quality is a different thing but the meditation we are focusing on the quality that is the difference so in meditation we going to practice or we're going to recall about the good qualities of metta or loving kindness and then we're going to keep our mind and concentrate our mind on those good qualities as an example in english we can use two different word sets there are few different explanations for that different different word sets for that all these words are focus to develop the loving kindness and compassion and happy base mental factors in your heart so We normally use a set of words called "May all of li- all the living beings be happy, healthy, peaceful, and content." So, like simple wish, you can wish for yourself: "May I be happy, healthy, peaceful, and content." You can just share the happiness and wishes to yourself, and you can experience how happy that you can be mm, if you are happy and if you are healthy, if you are peaceful and if you are content, and then you can sh- share the same happiness. same experience to other people in the world so everyone in the world mm-hmm. doesn't matter your enemies your friends parents everyone you can share that without any condition unconditional love towards everyone that is one technique there's another technique that we change the idea and focus about anger mainly in the text they explain about this like may i be free from anger may i be free from hatred may i be free from jealousiness may be free from suffering may be well and happy may I reach the ultimate bliss of nibbana so it's like a wish that we made for ourselves and also we radiate that to others so mainly when you wish for a mind without anger you can think about you can concentrate about a quality and a nature of your mind when you're not angry so think about that quality and then close your eyes and think how you feel when you don't have any anger in your mind how you feel when you don't have any hatred in your mind how you feel when you don't have any jealousy in your mind hmm? how you feel when you don't have suffering conditions in your mind so those are the things that we should focus so this is rather than developing a quality here we are focusing about the quality not developing but just to focus and to study how peaceful how calm and how wonderful they are and then you wish for the happiness of other people you wish for the comfortness of other people that way you can practice a universal condition actually 
also we can explain metta as unconditional love mainly in this world we love each other but we all have conditions to love if you exceed the condition if you go beyond the condition you don't love that person anymore but in metta is different you don't have any condition to love you don't have any condition to show your compassion to anyone so that is unique imagine if everyone in the world think like that imagine if everyone in the world behave like that and develop themselves in that way that'll be a wonderful world so that's why metta meditation is very important for anyone to practice it's a very good quality so let's focus about the quality of metta and show the kindness to other people and a person who practice metta should focus about two different things one is to use uh, compassion and kindness based words and compassion and kindness based actions that is very important doesn't matter how much you practice this meditation doesn't matter how much you concentrate about the qualities think about the qualities and develop those qualities if you use bad and aggressive words against each other if you use uh, aggressive uh, physical behaviors against someone then that is not helpful to practice meditation especially metta meditation so then you can control your words you can try to monitor your words you can try to monitor your physical uh, atmosphere and then you can maintain good mental atmosphere and to develop your mind into a better level so in this series of discussion try to develop metta meditation and may all of you be happy healthy peaceful and content and reach the ultimate bliss sadhu sadhu sadhu